What's up guys welcome to fourth python programming tutorials from world free apps in previous tutorial we have seen how to use python as a calculator how to perform uh, how to perform addition subtraction multiplication division fractional division rounding squaring etc etc function using python now in this tutorial we are going to um, see what is string uh, program um, knowing manipulating the strings programming through strings in python etc etc so let's begin this tutorial so first of all open your python shell so first of all what is a string a string is traditionally a, sequ a sequence of characters either as a literal or as a some kind of variable the latter may allow its elements to be muted and the length changed or it may be fixed after creation beside numbers python can also manipulate string which can be expressed in several ways they can be enclosed in single quotes or double quotes with the same result so let's see some example of single quotes double quotes and other single quotes python example now press enter you can see message in python example with single quotes has been printed on the screen so let's see other example and this slash single quote is used for escaping quotes from the message so let's see its example does not single quotes first of all single quotes does not then slash single quote t now press enter you see that it changes single quotes into double quotes here here now see slash uh, slash single quote example with double quotes double quotes does not now press enter you see it does not removes double quotes but it only removes single quotes and changes it into double quotes so let's check out some other examples yes single quotes double quotes yes comma he double quotes he said now press enter you can see there is no changes in the mm, sentence now use slash in this sentence double quotes yes comma double quote double quote he said dot double quote now press enter you can see this double quote has changed into single quote because this is used for changing double quotes into single quotes and this is used for changing double quotes into single quote and um, sorry this is used for changing single quotes into double quotes and this is used for changing double quotes into single quotes so 
let's see some other examples uh, single credits double credits is not she is not she said double credits she said dot now press enter you can see there is not any change in this sentence in the interactive interpreter the output string is enclosed in quotes and the special characters are escaped with backslashes while this might sometimes look different from the input the enclosing quotes could change the two strings are equivalent the string is enclosed in double quotes if the string contains a single quote and no double quote otherwise it is enclosed in single quotes the print open bracket close bracket function produces a more mo, produces a more readable output by omitting the enclosing quotes and by printing escaped and special characters so let's see this functions example first see example without this function double quote is not she said dot single quote now press enter you can see there is not any change in the sentence so let's see this example using print function is not she said now press n you can see that that single quotes has been removed from this sentence and it only prints double quotes because of this print function and without print function you can see it not prints it it uh, prints single quotes also so print function produces a more readable output by omitting the enclosing quotes and by printing escaped and special characters so let's check out some other example mm, now see this first line first line and then slash n second line now press enter you can see there is not any change slash n is used for it's used for slash n produces a new line but without print function it does not produce a new line so let's see example of slash n in print function first line and then second line second line dot now press enter you can see it has print first line and uh, second line second line mm, these two words in another line so if you don't want characters prefaced by 
slash to be interpreted as special characters you can use raw strings by adding an r before the get so let's understand this statement by seeing some examples so print open bracket close bracket uh, single quotes c mm, semicolon not semicolon to sum name now when you press enter it prints like this aim comes in another line and c sum comes in first line and aim in second line so how to don't let this is used for printing in second line in print, printing this statement in second line so how to how if how if you don't want character prefixed by slash to be interpreted as special character you can use raw string by adding an r before the first quote r open and close bracket by just adding this r c slash sum slash name then press enter you can see it prints this sentence in only a single line so you can use r for printing in a single line string literals can span multiple lines one way is using tri triple quotes or or triple quotes end of lines are automatically included in the string but it's possible to prevent this by adding a slash at the end of the line the following example let's check out this example print open close bracket now three quotes triple quotes now slash usage thingy options dash h dash capital h host name now triple quotes now press enter you can see it prints slash uses things options at at host name string literals can span multiple lines one way is using triple quotes let's see this example if you want to Uh, if you want to concatenated strings, you can use this thing three star three multiply by un plus i u m. Now press enter. You can see it. Prince un 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 um un 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 um. You can see three multiplies with un and then adds with um. So it prints un un um. 
strings can be concatenated glued together with the plus operator and repeated with star means multiply by you can use also this thing p y space single quotes t h o n then press enter you can see the p y and the t h o n combines glued with each other two or more string literals the ones enclosed between quotes next to each other are automatically concatenated and this, then see this example prefix equals to single quotes p y then press enter means prefix equal to p y prefix single quotes t h o n then press enter it shows invalid syntax this only works because this only works with two literals so not with variables or expressions or if you want to concatenate variable or a variable and a literal use plus see this prefix then plus then single quotes t h o n no press enter you can see the this whole P python with single quotes this feature is particularly useful when you want to break long strings let's check this example put test dash put single quotes put several strings to have them no press enter i am sorry for this but you does not type this dash in your syntax unexpected character after line continuation character please copy paste sorry for this slash no press enter i have i am um, having some error in this let's check this out again put several dash open close bracket i'm oh, sorry Enter. Now you have to enter this another sentence to have them. No close bracket. No press enter. I am facing some problem in this you have 
then I am facing some problem sorry sorry for the error so you can also try uh, these example you can try these example yourself in your pc so thanks for watching and subscribe to my channel for more great videos so thanks again for watching